If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that I use Elytra a lot. In fact, this whole room in our house is dedicated to Elytra. And a long time ago, I built this Elytra outpost. So I made up a story where it was used before they invented firework rockets for Elytra. So you could get to a high place and fly away. And it was kind of restored. And it's in use today. And last episode, it was just empty. But I've added this floor and this spiral staircase that goes all the way to the top so that you can climb up so then you can glide anywhere you want. Okay, that almost was bad. So then you can glide to anywhere that you want around the Fred Mountains region. The spiral staircase does take a long time to climb up, but then once you get to the top, it says watch your head because I made so you have to crouch down so that I didn't mess up the floor of this too bad. But then you can glide out wherever you want to go around this area instead of walking that far. So if I wanted to go to Uncle Bill's, I can easily get there. I could get even farther, obviously. There's a spire in the middle of nowhere. That I think would be another good one of those, and it's already kind of, I consider it to be one of those in my head, but someday I might build a bunch of stuff around it, so that it looks like one. This huge spire up here. I think I can make it all the way home with, I forget if it was with using one rocket or with using none, but once you get to the top, you can make it pretty far. Yeah, I can make it all the way home without using a single rocket. So, that's another good place. But right now, what I'm working on is in here. And I suddenly make an entrance to this. I'm going to make several stories in here. I'm thinking I'll add, like, an Elytra room where you can rent Elytra or buy Elytra. And a pro shop for like firework rockets and then maybe like a gift shop or something and it's actually a pretty large area inside here so it's going to be pretty good for building i think to start i need to bake lots of stone though yeah i'm going to take this shulker box and cook all of the stone at my industrial smelter <laughs> where's our cat down here okay See how quickly this all cooks. <laughs> Alright, big update. Since last you saw, I added all these four stories to the building. And I added things to the very top one. The top story I made kind of like a hotel, so you have different hotel rooms. So it'll be kind of like an inn, pretty much. And for being literally one block wide, since there's a trap doors, it feels really spacious. So I added those floors, which I do have plans for. I'll probably make them into like a restaurant, maybe, maybe just a rec area, and then probably like a pro shop, like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode. And yeah, I think it's coming together really nicely. I added these walls on either side as well. I'll probably make this again kind of like a common area, make like a fireplace maybe here yeah it's gonna be really cool I'll probably make a giant chandelier coming all the way down as well okay I finished it as you can see I did the most important thing and added the date that I finished it on the inside I made this shaggy wool carpet with benches or couches or something on either side and then a nice fireplace I'm used to campfires with a nice fireplace on the inside which does not burn the carpet or the wood. I've made sure of that. And then, yeah, I made the chandelier that I was talking about, which I think turned out pretty cool. Took lots of iron, though. The first floor, I added, like, every kind of armor besides netherite that you can have in the game, because, obviously, I don't even have netherite armor yet. I'm not wearing any armor right now. I'm wearing my explorer gear. Um, 
but then I added all the different tools in the game as well for the shop. You know, I might tinker around in here, but for now I'm done. Then you go up to the next floor, which is like the kitchen slash dining room. I have the uh, menu up here and cakes on the tables and everything. I added potted plants in here, which actually does a lot to finish off the look of the room. I have a fence here and then compost are filled all the way up and then leaves on top of it and it looks really nice in my opinion it really ties the rest of it together and then I didn't do anything on this floor besides at the chandelier base oh yeah I added the crafting tables and lanterns as well so I'm done with this I finished it took tons of effort but I got done and I'm happy with it Obviously, like I said, I might do a few things with it, like maybe add some andesite or something to the walls to break up how plain it is. But as far as the inside, I really like how it turned out. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future. And thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.